Hey there, Carrie Rhodes here, your paper crafting friend. Today I am making some treat holders using the Bunny Egg Shaker die set from Trinity Stamps. It's not just a shaker and it's not just a treat holder, it's both and they're monogrammed and they're perfect for your Easter place settings. So this is the Bunny Egg Shaker die set from Trinity Stamps. There's a solid egg, an outline frame, and all the little pieces to create the bunny so it looks like it's holding the egg. Here you can see the die cut pieces, the solid egg, the frame, and then there's the fallout piece which is a little bit smaller egg so you can use that for lots of things too. We have ears, one is folded over, we have the little paws, and we have the feet that are curved to fit the shape of the egg. So you can make this as a shaker, but you can also put those bunny pieces right on the egg shape and still have it look like the bunny is holding that egg. And lots of fun techniques you can do with your egg itself to decorate it up, which I'm gonna talk about in today's video as well, showing you several different backgrounds for my shaker eggs. So let's take a look at this now as a shaker. So first I want to decorate my egg. I'm going to do that with the, some Distress Mica Spray Stain in Hocus Pocus, just using the nozzle to splatter the back. So just a really easy way to decorate your egg. I love a speckled egg, and so I'm doing purple. I just felt like I needed to do a purple egg, so that's where I'm starting. <laughs> that needs to dry, and while that's drying, we can set up the front of this shaker. So we're gonna take the frame, that's die cut from purple cardstock and I'm gluing it down to an egg shape die cut from window sheet and that is die cut using that largest egg shape that one that I just splattered the same die that I cut out that white piece with. Next I have some foam strips. These are foam strips from Trinity Stamps. They're very um, thin and they're really pliable but sturdy. If you take the backing off so it's sticky on both sides, it curves so beautifully, so easily, effortlessly. I love them for little shaker things just like this. Now to fill up my shakers, Trinity Stamps has millions of shakers. Okay, maybe not millions, but lots of shaker things and embellishments like these sprinkles made from clay. So I put in the purple ones, they're called Huckleberry, and I also put in some miniature mini tiny seed beads. So um, you get that nice sound, it helps the little bits move around. I love it. So this is foam tape, so it is adhesive on the back. However, sometimes when you curve things, you get little ripples in your foam. And I have seed beads in there that are so tiny, the little mini beads. So I also used glue and I backed this with a window sheet, which in some instances, having a second window sheet makes it really easy to see what you're covering up and line it up. So I love doing the double window sheet thing. Now I'm going to glue on my bunny pieces to my egg. Now with the rest of the eggs I'm gonna show you, I will show you um, a way you can do this without the double window sheet. And so you'll kind of get a couple different ideas here. Next, I'm putting a scrap piece of paper on the back of the ears because I wanna inlay, or I wanna color that. I want that to have a pink center, but I can't inlay it because I'm not gluing my bunny down onto like a card, for instance. It's gonna be standing up. So I needed to create a backing piece for this, so to speak. So I just added a scrap there and then took my pink Copic marker in R20 and added a little bit of pink. All right, so now that I have the window sheet on the back, I need a little more glue there to attach this down to my speckled background. And then you can see I saved the little hands, the little paws, they're gonna go on front so it looks like the bunny is like reaching around from the back and holding onto that egg, which is so very cute. So that finishes it off. You could put this right onto a card, but I love making little treat holders for my place settings. Um, and so these are gonna be the ones for my little Easter table. So I'm using Hershey's snack size bars. They come in a pack like this with eight in them. And I wanted to use something that pretty much anybody could find instead of like some specialty Easter candy. So here you can see I've put a box behind my shaker and uh, another egg behind it. So I'm gonna show you how I made that. I just wanted you to see the concept 
before we started creating. Now for this pink egg, my background is one I made with shaving cream. I also use tape on the back of my ears to hold in the piece that falls out when you die cut the ear, and then I just put pink on that with my Copic marker. Now I'm using these pastel sprinkles for this bunny, and you can see I've got my egg ready with the bunny ears and the legs on it, and I have my shaker ready. I added some pink seed beads this time, and now I can just attach those two pieces. I didn't actually put a second window sheet on, so I wanted to show you that you don't have to do that, but there are times when the second window sheet is so handy. So there is my pink bunny, and we also want to personalize these. So I'm bringing out this modern embossed edge alphabet die set and um, I'm also using the bow from the chocolate bunny die set so I die cut those at the same time because I was using yellow cardstock and then I can add my monogrammed letter I'm just doing one so it's really an, an initial um, right onto the belly there okay now we need the box for the chocolate so this paper is two and a half inches by two inches you're going to score it at one inch and one and a half on the two and a half inch side and then a half an inch and one and a half inches on the two inch side. It looks just like this. And then we need to snip on those little lines that are in the center on both sides. And this is just gonna create a little box that perfectly fits the Hershey snack size bar, which are available year round in most stores. Okay, so now you wanna put double-sided adhesive on the little flaps, flip it over and put adhesive on the longer flaps only on one side. We're gonna take the backing off of the middle section and attach the side that has no adhesive first, just like that. Now we can attach the other side that I already put the sticky tape on and we have our little box. And this is going to hold that Hershey bar in there pretty snugly so it doesn't flop around. You kind of want to put it in almost diagonally and it holds it so nice and tight. It will stand up. Eventually it will. <laughs> okay, so now we need adhesive on both sides. Because this is like a 3D object, not just a flat card, I am using double stick tape and liquid glue because I am obsessed with with good adhesion. So when you stick the box down, you want the box to be flush with the table. So the center of it, you wanna put in the middle of the egg. And some of that little box will show on the front of the egg. That's okay, we need it flat with the table so it will stand up. I die cut the solid egg, again, the larger egg, from some pink cardstock to be the back. You could write on the back of this. You could put a pom-pom for a tail. Okay. On to my orange themed egg. I am using some paper, some pattern paper for the background this time, and it's the Love Danny collection. And then I have some more pastel sprinkles. I told you Trinity has so many. I love this variety pack because it's got a lot of pastel colors and it's got those little beads in it. Also, some are larger and some are smaller. So I just picked out the smaller ones and left the bigger ones. I, I wasn't loving that for this small project. So now I can add that topper and I love the light orange with the dark orange. That's really fun. And then I'll add on his hands. I like the hands up a tiny bit higher also, I decided, but you really, you can play with the placement of them. I added a pink bow, and then of course I need an initial. And I don't know if you noticed, but I did not cut apart my alphabet. I just cut the whole thing all at once. It just feels so much easier to just grab the thing and die cut it, but eventually I might cut it apart. But I've had it this way for like, ever since it came out, which was last year, I believe. So now I'm adding that little box, showing you how you want it, the center of it at the bottom of the egg, and then add on my solid egg to the back, and just hold that so make sure it adheres really well. And then it stands up beautifully. Okay, let's move on to the yellow egg. This is a gel press print. I have a lot of backgrounds I've made because sometimes I just make backgrounds and I'll have extras. And so I pulled this out from my stash. It's made with acrylic paint and a stencil on the gel press. And then I added the ripe banana little um, sprinkles into the inside of this one and then you just add all the things i thought purple and yellow would be really cute together so i added a c this one might be for me <laughs> and a purple bow i love the bow on the ear and pulling that in from the chocolate bunny set just makes me happy all right so we add our box and our chocolate and the egg to go on the back now you can see i'm making these in like every single rainbow color just to make it nice and bright and cheery you could make these all the same if you wanted so you had a real matchy matchy look like just 
really creating things like this, you can customize it to match your decor and what you want your decorations to look like. And I love that. Okay, for my next one, I'm pulling out a stencil. And this is the Lots of Dots stencil set. There are four different stencils in this set from Trinity. And they are different sizes, but they all the stencils are nine by six. So you can put this on any size card. I'm gonna do green, light green with dark green ink. This is Catherine Pooler ink I'm using here. And look at that, it's so cute. And then we'll add some green sprinkles. So we have all colors of green in there. Plus, let's do a touch of pink. I did pink and green for St. Patrick's Day, and I loved the color combination. So let's try it for Easter, too. And I like it just as much. So we add it on our ears and our legs right there on the inside. It's just a lot of... um you know, repetition. So you could totally just die cut out a bunch of ears, a bunch of legs, put the tape on the back of your ears, add the pink. You could do this assembly line style, or you could do it like I'm doing it today and create one at a time too. You can also do your bunny in different colors, a little brown or tan or gray would be really fun too. So I added my initial and my bow. I put the box on the back and added my solid little egg on there. So for the blue one, I'm going to do some hot foiling. I have this, I think it's vintage tile um, from Trinity Stamps. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but my foil got all wrinkly and it didn't foil perfectly, but I decided that was okay. There was a section that was pretty good. So I die cut my egg from that section. I added some blue and yellow to this one. I have these confetti hearts um, from something from a long time ago. So I just threw those in with my blue sprinkles to add a touch of yellow and then added my yellow monogram and bow. So there's all my bunnies, all of them in rainbow order. I love how they turned out. I love what they look like standing up and that they have a little treat in there. That is super fun. And you can use the box that I used on this and put it behind anything and put your little Hershey bar in there and create little treat holders for lots of different occasions. So I really wanted to make a chocolate version of this and I did. And that is coming up in another video and I'm gonna put that one on a card. So so stay tuned for that video coming soon. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe and let me know if you like this video with a thumbs up and I'll chat with you in the comments below. Happy stamping. Bye.